I'd rather go in the train. That's no question about. But today, we gotta stop by Gilo Bell. We got our brother, we got here Joe, our camera boy. So, worth the trip. At least I'm not going by bus. Look, you guys think it looks like Paula? But you are a model here, yeah, man. <laughs> Follow the GPS, you know, the GPS sometimes. You got to ride there sometimes, it make you crazy. Welcome to Shun's World. Uh, we got the VIP spot. So during the day, you gotta have uh, $3, get coins of 25, go to Starbucks, get your coins, you can stop for an hour, and uh, after 7 p.m., it's free, so you got VIP free in front of a, a True Warrior Fitness, okay? Hi, welcome to True Warrior Fitness. I'm Angela. I'm an amateur fighter. I train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Muay Thai. This is True Warrior Fitness. Great gym, great family atmosphere. Um, to come and train here since January 1st, we got Chanji Ribeiro teaching um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu out of True Warrior Fitness. So, great energy, great synergy happening right here, and you should come and check it out. Hey guys, okay. I'm trying to here, help my brother, take care of business. Hi, how are you? Hello, nice to meet you. My great pleasure. A Argentina falando português. Argentina. <laughs> We're gonna go like, pop. As soon as we touch on you on the belly, we're gonna spin over to the other side. Now we're gonna turn into me again. Okay. Now what you do? You spin back to the small shop. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you should have turned the call. You shoot the belly. And now I put your hand like this. Oh, sorry, I was too young. Let my body go. And I feel right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. to learn, I start beginning to learn, those guys taught me a lot. Like you can see, literally like changed my life, you know? So I'm very, very honored to be here, you know, and I'm very happy to see that I have a good group here in the morning. Our family is our strength. That's what keeps us united. My pleasure to be here, share this energy with you guys, getting Shani ready to go there to Abu Dhabi and kick everybody's ass. All right, thank you, Saul. Thank you, Paul, for coming here today. It's for me, it's an honor to have those guys here. Everybody in the world asking me how is it is to train with Shand, you know? And I'm gonna tell you guys, but they're gonna tell you guys in in the surf language. Sometimes feels like Waikiki, sometimes pipeline and sometimes the heavy days of jaws. So, make up your mind, we go through all phase.
Well, guys, uh, I think moving to LA was a big step for me uh, because uh, throughout, you know, too many years, uh, you know, me and my brother be together all the time, and uh, we never had a, a Ribeiro Jiu-Jitsu really in a big place, you know, a central place like Los Angeles. And uh, you know, I just felt that after a while was uh, was a good time for me to have my own experiences and uh, you know build one more big ship, one more big boat to carry the flag of, uh, of our jiu-jitsu. Uh, I would like to say that in the beginning I was a little nervous to be a big city, you know, and of course leaving my brother's wing is, is not, it's not too easy. He, he always have been so protected to me and he always took care of me and, um, and you know, and then of course we don't, we, don't, we don't grow our kids to ourselves. So one time the kids go and fly and then, uh, and that was my time to do it. And uh, in the beginning, I really, uh, I really had a lot of doubts and and how to start, but uh, you know, took me a while to get used to the city. It took me a while to, you know, get used to time, to traffic, and uh, just just to the lifestyle, in general, you know. But uh, you know, thank God I found I found good people that uh, really support me and and it gave me the chance to to come and teach and uh, put the jiu-jitsu program in a really central area, and uh, it's, it's a big place, you know, everybody. It's a mixed martial arts academy, but everybody really embraced jiu-jitsu as the art. And I think sometimes that's the biggest, the biggest uh, problem in the transition between MMA and jiu-jitsu. A lot of people take some time to really develop into the, into the art itself. But uh, you know, I enjoy enjoying you know my training. I enjoy just uh, you know get myself ready to go to the beach. I enjoy good restaurants and uh, you know Hollywood weird sometimes is funny, but uh, that's what keeps us you know laughing all the time. You know, at the end, it's a great environment. We have, you know, sometimes little actors here. We have girls, kids, you know, all kinds of people. And uh, for me, it's, it's awesome because I get to really push and, and try to show what really jiu-jitsu is about for a lot of people because I believe that uh, some, some people really misconcepted. And uh, me coming from a family background and uh, be able to pass to the students, I think that's, and that's my, my goal. And of course, have one more, one more headquarters to, to you know to grow and, and build a team and uh, for sure, I've been here. The school is now open for about three months, and uh, we have a lot of people that you know stopped training jiu-jitsu for so long. You know they came back training jiu-jitsu. A lot of beginners, a lot of guys that had Muay Thai or mixed martial arts at the background. Now they really embrace jiu-jitsu. They they wear the kimono with pride. They wear the belt with pride, and I think that's the type of thing that really pushed me to do better. And uh, linking all of this together, that, that make me hungry again to, to get back into Jiu-Jitsu, you know? Because for a while I was kind of like, don't know if I want to do MMA, don't know if I want to stay in Jiu-Jitsu. And I just think that, uh, you know, the fire is back because now that I teach every day, twice a day, and now I was in the academy, that really made me like, you know, feel and, and know that I still have a lot to show, you know, to prove that that our jiu-jitsu, the, the jiu-jitsu that, uh, that came through my brother, through me, and, and now we develop ourselves, I, I believe that's the still the most effective one, you know? Um, I think the way jiu-jitsu is taught, BJJ is taught nowadays, it's, it, it's kind of, you know, it's getting a little too commercial, and, and then they're forgetting a lot of, of the basic concepts. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to to really put the words that Elio Gracie put to us, that my brother passed to me, and I, I, I tried to do my best. And, uh, and again, all, all of these things together put the fire back on me, you know? It's like when you're in a marriage and you lose the, lose the passion, but then all of a sudden something clicks and then you get the passion back, you know? And then every day I count the time to be here, I count the hours to come here and teach and train and, and see the kids, you know, learning arm bars, learning how to put the knee in the stomach, and, uh, and, and, and all of this, you know, made me really hungry again, you know, because uh, those two years that I kind of stayed away, you know, and they have these new champions and new this and that, and uh, I still think I have a lot on the tank. And uh, every time they, they come out of something new, I get together with Saulo and then we figure stuff out, you know. It's just a matter of thinking about it and, and spend time into it. You know, and I still believe the basic way to, to approach, to put the weight and to be technical, to be precise, is still, is still the way to go. And, uh, and hopefully I can represent the team and, uh, 
and bring our flag to the, to the number one place in the world again. Teaching Jiu-Jitsu and get the fire, you know, it's funny because really mingles when I start being a father, you know. Um, I start to, to raise my daughter, I start to, you know, see her develop herself into her personality, into teaching her how to walk, teach her how to swim. And actually, I, I, when I teach, I actually feels like they're my kids also, you know. I think that the fatherhood, that kind of, I embraced it and, and, and put this into my academy because I want them to walk properly, I want them to have a character, I want them to have personality. I, I want them to learn the best and of course, I'll teach them to life. I'm not gonna yeah. baby them and, 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 and spoil them. I, I want them to, to, to get hit hard and, and be able to stand up and, and, and be whole mothers. And uh, all of this together just, just, just made me feel that, you know, that Jiu-Jitsu is my life, Jiu-Jitsu is my passion, and, uh, and, and I am Jiu-Jitsu built, you know. Everything that I, that I do, everything that I, that I eat, it's about Jiu-Jitsu. And, uh, and the fire, the competition, that, 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 that every day challenge that life put in our life, that, 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 really, that really made me push myself to the next level to learn business, to learn more techniques, and to be more perfect as a, as a father, as a, as a teacher. And uh, yes, and now as a competitor again, you know. Uh, for a second I thought that was my time, but no, I have so much in the tank and, uh, and it's about time. And um, we're gonna start in this March. It's uh, the Abu Dhabi Trials, the World Professional Championships. And uh, San Diego Trials is probably the hardest trials that out there. And uh, I'm gonna go there, it's, it's, it's my backyard, you know. I just moved my house a little bit here, but I still have my, my, my beach house right there my brother and it's about time to to come back and and, uh, and show that uh where we want you know that's we never we never you know we, we just we just settle a little we we didn't stop you know jiu-jitsu is, is a constant involvement and uh san diego is my backyard and i'm gonna go there i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna go to the world pro and i'm gonna take what uh what's mine you know what i i lend to people and now it's time to get it back you know i i my mind is the right place, my spirit is the right place, my fire, my passion is the right place. And uh, if all of this together, and uh, if the family, if the right team, I think we we unbeatable, you know. We just do the right training and uh, do the right things and it's just live in God's will, you know. I did my job training, I did my job being the model and being the father, being the teacher that I have to be. Now it's time to just put the hand in the geese and and mean it out a little bit and leave the, leave the kind father aside and be the hungry father. Uh, and, that's, uh, and that's what we want to be. And uh, this is just the first step of a great year, you know. And uh, they're saying, the Mayans say that the year is going to end. I don't think so. Or maybe that's the mindset, you know. Maybe that's the last year of the world. And uh, I'm living day by day like it's the last one. And uh, if, the, if the world had to end, I will end as the number one. And that's how it's going to be. And I just like to say to everybody that uh, you know wants to come and train, you can visit the website jujitsudojo.com. Uh, you know Los Angeles is a great place, a lot of hotels, and uh, just send us a message on the website, and it's easy, easy to find out if you want to train for competition. Uh, I'm here training, I'm here every day. Uh, my jujitsu belongs to the world, and uh, and uh, if you're willing to learn, if you're willing to to do what it takes to to be under us, to to really embrace jiu-jitsu as your lifestyle, just uh, jujitsudojo.com and uh, be welcome. That's the way to be. You see what happened to an unprepared guy? You see what happened? No, Joe, you got the coin.
people to come to Bossa Nova in French. Oui, bien sûr. Alors, il faut venir à Bossa Nova parce que c'est la meilleure, meilleure nourriture brésilienne. Il faut venir. You see, you see what happened? You see what happened to the gringo? The gringo come to a Brazilian restaurant, look what he had. He had a sandwich, man. What the heck is that? <laughs> the American influence. This is one dollar house <laughs> house. And for you guys that make this far, we had a great day, you know, me, Paulo, my brother Shanji, Joe, some good training, some good food, some good insights, some good techniques, a little bit of uh, everything for your day. And you know, it's just more uh, another day at the Jiu Jitsu world. Hope you guys have liked it. That's for real. Thank you. Us.